Party Government Wednesday at State House, Nairobi. These officials from various departments in the national government, including public service, the Kenya Revenue Authority involved in the takeover as per the deed of transfer executed close to three weeks ago, exchanging documents heralding a change of guard at the county, but not without the usual touch of pomp from the city governor Mike Sonko. Later on, the Attorney General interpreting the meaning of the contractual agreement. The highlight of the ceremony, however, was the announcement of the creation of the Office of Nairobi Metropolitan Services, NMS. The office will be headed by Major General Mohamed Abdallah of the Air Force and deputized by Enosh Momani. Major General Badi, a decorated military pilot, is a deputy commandant of the National Defense College and the commander at Moy Air Base. President Kenyatta, spelling out the duels deliverables in the first 100 days in office against the backdrop of the failed Nairobi Regeneration Program. The biggest problem that the city faces <coughs> is corruption and cartels that have a vice-like grip on City Hall. Further, roles of the Nairobi Metropolitan Office outlined primarily in the areas of transport, health, public works and urban planning, with the team expected to streamline county construction that has stalled for a while now. And they should also fully operationalize the e-construction and e-permit system, <coughs> and in this way reduce the number of delays arising from investors for investors from development control approvals. And in transport, work closely with Nairobi Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Namata, to improve public service vehicles and pedestrians' facilities, even as the government announced a major boost to commuter services. Soon we shall be taking delivery of four out of the 11 diesel multiple unit DMUs from Spain, and the availability of these units will increase our capacity to com provide commuter rail services. President Kenyatta ordering a crackdown on illegal garbage dump sites and need for proper water and sewerage connection. The NMS team must focus in the next 100 days on outlining key strategies for equitable and better management of water distribution services under rationing program. Registration and monitoring of vendors and Bowser operations will be a key area for enforcement. These with NMS tasked to oversee the preparation of a relevant action plan in ensuring smooth running of health operations. This deed of transfer will remain in force for the next two years where the two tires of government will work together, allowing for review and supervision by the respective devolution oversighting institutions, the Senate and the County Assembly. Rose Gakuo. That's story filed by Rose Gakuo uh, right there. And of course, um, as has been said, uh, Major General Mohamed Badi and Enosh Mani, of course, have a lot of work on their plates. A um, hundred days, um, the report card being uh, given in right there. But let's start from this particular point in time, because looking at some of the appointments um, in key critical dockets that um, the president has made, one would think that he has a lot of faith in the disciplined forces, in intelligence. We've seen what is done from EACC to um, the DPP's office, DCI. Here we are, and he goes back for a decorated officer. Why this talk of faith in this uh, particular force? And by the way, if you look at EACC and the office of the DPP, I mean, these people have actually been people with very, uh, who come with very great discipline, let mm -hmm. me put it that way. And I believe that's probably the very same thing the president was looking for in, uh, at City Hall when he tells you, or when he tells Kenyans that, uh, you know, the major problem at City Hall is, uh, is, is uh, what you call uh, corruption, high corruption, and uh, the cartels. Mm -hmm. And he continues to say they have a vice like grips, right. a grip in, uh, in, in, in City Hall. But uh, <clears throat> having said that, I think uh, more than anything, it's the kind of discipline that uh, the armed uh, forces or people within the uh, military rank, that, uh, that's the kind of discipline that they bring uh, with them. So I think that is a very heavy requirement mm -hmm. uh, for, for the city of Nairobi and the you know, uh, city council uh, as, uh, as, 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 as we see. But uh, I, I think uh, the... 
man himself, the governor himself, has a lot of work uh, to do. And not in terms of physical doing, but in terms of thinking. He must, like any sober leader, he must ask when the rain started beating him. He must try and find out why he was not comfortable in his own skin. Sonko started his shenanigans back in the day when they started, you know, flaring up with his deputy gather. And I would have thought, given the goodwill that Sonko came with, we may, you know, it's, it's still debatable whether he was the right candidate or not, but that's neither here nor there. The issue is, why did he not stick to the original plan? Who was this individual or individuals or cartels, if you will, because half of them were his friends, that actually took him out of what he wanted to do for Nairobians to be somebody who was so erratic like we saw? Why did he not follow that state plan of where he said, you know what, I will do the political work and when it comes to administration, I'll leave it to the likes of Vigade and Akina Ben Mulwa here. Do you feel Why that was where the rain started? Oh, a long point? time. You know, he became so uncomfortable that he could not even trust the people that were with him, the people who started out with him. He became so uncomfortable that, from what I hear, I don't know, Ben probably can actually tell us more on that, that he could not even give his CECs a contract of more than three months. All right? And for you to be able to work effectively, Jeff, in any organization or in any business that you want to see having serious and positive fruits, you must trust the people you work with. Haven't you had, you know, when uh, somebody tells you that your greatest asset and your greatest resource are the people who work with you, are right. your employees. Right. So why was he not, and I keep repeating this, why was Sonko not comfortable in, in, in his own skin? And I believe this is what, you know, has actually messed him. You cannot say he did not have the willpower or he did not have, you know, that a spirit of assisting. But you see, that's not only it. Handouts are not the thing. Right. Sonko rescue team, it's not it. At the end of the day, you must sit down and come up with serious county, both planning and physical policies of an entire county, where you are saying almost half percent of our national GDP comes from it. You're talking about the UNEP headquarters. You're talking about so many things, so many offices that are within the, 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 uh, the Nairobi county. And for you to not be able to live out to the true meaning of a core leader who understands, you know, the basic elements of driving a county forward, a county as Nairobi, it's not only a matter of failure, it's a matter of myopicness. You cannot see further than your own personality. And so I believe the biggest mistake Sonko ever did, and I'm actually glad these functions have gotten national government. We have to see how they're going to be run uh, thereafter. But the biggest problem Sonko has was mistrust. He ended up mis not trusting anyone. And so probably the people who knew him well, who he surrounded himself or himself with, only took advantage of him, you know. So I think Sonko has a lot of time which he needs to think and reflect on how he has gone to lose or to ha he has lost a lot of goodwill with the people of Nairobi and also with the leadership of his party. For him to have come to a turn like this, where really the county and all the functions, let me put, it's actually all the functions mm -hmm. that have been taken by uh, national the government. national government. Sonko has a lot and needs a lot of time to rethink why he came to such a pass. As he takes some time to, you know, look back and uh, see what really happened right there, Ben, um, we have um, a new sheriff in town. Major General um, uh, Badi on this one, yes. with the task that has been put before him, and yes. you have heard uh, the President saying yes. it's fighting and slaying this dragon called corruption and cartels, mm -hmm. where does he start? Because from what um, we hear of uh, City, uh, City Hall, yes. Yes. these cartels run really deep yes. and really high up the hierarchy. Yes. Where would this uh, man start to actually slay this uh, dragon of corruption from there? Um, well, first, first there, are, there, there are misconceptions that have been populated out there for so long until they begin to appear like they are the, the truth. In fact, I'm surprised that some of them, Gabriel, is still running with them. 
as late as this morning. <laughs> uh, you know, there is this narrative that has been perpetuated for so long that uh, City Hall has been this chaos and nothing has been happening at City Hall and everything ground to a halt. And I, 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 I get disturbed because people bo refuse to bother with the, the facts. I want to give you a very small uh, example. Uh, the World Bank allocated about 18 billion shillings to the Nairobi City County government in 2016. Uh, by the time Sonko came into office in 2017, uh, the World Bank was actually withdrawing that money. Why? Because the previous administration deliberately refused to put in place the structures required to, uh, or the conditions required to be able to meet, uh, to, to be able to get the funding. Um, Sonko came into office, pleaded with the World Bank, uh, they renegotiated the, the, the deal, and that project as we speak today for the first time since independence, Nairobi has four new fire stations. Nairobi has four new markets. We have been thriving for 60 years with a rotten market called only Wakulima and a few others here and there. Uh, we have seen the transformation in terms of uh, road infrastructure, primarily in the Eastlands area and all those areas. For the first time, we have actually a uh, healthcare facility, and this is where the contrast, the reality will hit this uh, general and his team and those who are getting excited about nothing. Uh, for the first time, I want you to take, in fact, immediately after this show, um, Gabriel, I want you to drive across to Pumani Maternity Hospital, which is under the county government, which the governor has renovated, and also drive to Kenyatta, which is under the national government. Do, draw a contrast on your own. I don't need to give you the facts. So th this narrative has been pushed for so long by the same cartels. In fact, it is the cartels who are pushing Sonko out. Okay, it is not the other way. Just a okay, moment. Okay, okay, it is not the other way around. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Because you see, when, when we talk about the cartels, I want yes. to go there because we've because actually now had are the reality reality himself yes. ask the president Absolutely. for help in fighting yes. the cartels. And that is why now it is actually, in, in fact, I think this is a very, um, this, this was a very strategic move even for the governor because ultimately people like, uh, uh, like, like Gabriel here mm -hmm. have been thinking that it is Sonko is refusing to work. Then now the reality will hit this team that is coming in thinking the that... The Nairobi Metropolitan yes, Service? Yes, 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 uh -huh. yes, I can guarantee you. And believe you me, Nairobi has suffered under investment and mismanagement for a very long time. It is not, in fact, if you were to put on a scale in terms of uh, what uh, Governor Sonko has done in two years compared to what has been happening to Nairobi, say, the previous 20 years or even 30 years, you'd be surprised that's actually what he's been able to achieve under the circumstances of what he found City Hall. One of the key things, you know, people keep uh, entertaining them themselves here. One of the key things the governor did and which rubbed a lot of people the wrong way was he completely terminated the handling of cash from, uh, from City Hall. Nobody pays anything by cash. So even as KRA is being appointed as a revenue collection agent, in fact it is a major relief for the county government because KRA will also wake up to a few realities on the ground. Uh, the, from the little mamambogas we have on the ground all the way to, the, to those guys who refuse deliberately and these properties who don't pay rates in this country are not owned by the Matatu conductors and touts. They are owned by people who really run this economy, who have been evading taxes and paying rates for a very long time. So those are realities. And in the next two years, in the next 24 months, it will become very clear that actually the problem was not Sonko. In fact, what Sonko was able to achieve in those first two years, I want, and as you said actually before the end of the time, it will be very interesting to see what this team will be able to achieve. Because when you talk about now issues of uh, traffic congestion, for example, um, uh, there, there are li uh, practical and technical limitations in terms of uh, our road capacities versus the population of motor vehicles we have and, and all that. Of course, the, gov the government cannot melt cars from the road so that we can have uh, more, um, more, more, more systems in place. Uh, there has been the Namata discussion. Mm -hmm. um, under CS Masharia for the last uh, three years, and that has not even uh, taken off. I hope that we'll be able to, to, to see that taking off because now transport is under them. Uh, they painted Thika Road with one red line um, two years ago, and th that was supposed to sort of transport. So the realities will begin to hit home, and believe you me, 
uh, forget about the many things that people have been saying there. I, I want us to be able to focus now on the actual deliveries and the actual reports like, that are available in the public domain, either from the Auditor General's Office and the Control of Budget um, Office and, and even the United Nations. You know, people keep saying that, oh, you know, the, you, the, this is the headquarters of the United Nations and the international community and all that. Believe you me, and there are records even to demonstrate that. For the first time in a very long time, most of the international community that is based in Nairobi had a very good working relationship with City Hall. Many of them actually resumed funding projects, including healthcare, like Danida. Uh, uh, governor Sonko was lauded as one of the, the, the governors who was able to utilize those funds 100% um, um, exactly as per the conditions. So, okay, it, Ben, let me, let me ask thing because I when, when you talk about, <coughs> for someone yes. who probably just tuned in right now, yes. he would wonder or she would wonder yes. with a governor who was performing so well. Yes. Why would we come to this? No, you see, there's this idea of, uh, and as I've indicated, there's this idea of people uh, r running with fancy headlines and not bothering to report accurate. This, just the same way we are, we are, we are handling corona. You know, 90% of the information out there is misinformation. Mm -hmm. And to a large extent, the public will not have the time and the details to interrogate. But actually, when the time comes to be able to interrogate not only from the financial performance of uh, City Hall under Governor Sonko, and the actual uh, deliveries in terms of projects. And I want to give you a specific uh, re report. The, auditor, uh, the, the control of budget report, for example, the financial year 2018-2019, which ended last year. Uh, Nairobi had a development absorption rate of 78%. Uh, 78%. This, um, this is actually higher than even what the national government was able to achieve in the same period, which stands at 51%. So it is actually Nairobi County, it is actually Governor Sonko who should have been bailing out the national government, not the other way around. Because Gabriel, if when you hear these you numbers and you hear yeah, these facts, I want to come to Gabriel on this. Yes, just a point, moment. Because it Actually, sounds like you're talking about. That's no, this sounds like you're talking about a different government. No, no, no. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me deal with it. And you know, Ben, uh, I can understand where Ben is coming from. Where is he coming from? Uh, no, you know, Ben is an insider at City Hall. And he works there. And we understand. And that, I mean. That is again misinformation. No, no, it's not misinformation. And honestly, let me tell you, Ben has done a great job. I know the man. I know, you know, his capacity. And I can tell you, Ben has really tried assisting a, a governor. The problem is, mm -hmm. and if I'm true, if I was to sit down with governor, I'll tell him, you know, governor, you started well, but along the way, something very mysterious happened. You have lost some of the best people who ever stopped, uh, stepped uh, at City Hall. You've lost them. The likes of Mudon Yoko. You, you lost people who had good intentions to even assist you. Listen, you know, Jeff, there's one thing to know and there's one thing where you do not know, but you have an illusion of knowledge. That is what Sonko had. An illusion. He thought he could do it by himself. He found that he could not do it. Sonko started fighting up with not his DG. He's been fighting with the women rep on Nairobi, calling her all sorts of names. He has moved out of there. Half of the time he is crying. He has closed office. He has corruption cases. He is no longer at City Hall. He has an office in Upper Hill. Stop Upper Hill. Go to Mua. The man is confused. And not only that, <laughs> you thought, and Nairobians thought, the man had the capacity, and that's the word, the capacity to run. Otherwise, why then, and Jeff, you put that, questions to, uh, that question to Ben, and he never answered you. Why then would he go to president, the president and tell him, uh, Your Excellency, sir, take I these functions? Why? It is because not only the cartels came into play, but half of those cartels were his friends. That in itself. If you ask Sonko, he would have told, and, and forget all these other scenarios that he was able to do Pomwani. No, no, no. At what cost? He was able to do a stadium in Dandora. At what cost? All right? The issue is not these simple things, and Sonko is known to call them Bipindres. It's not Bipindres. Nairobi requires a very informed structure. There was a time he took a video in Dubai, Sonko himself, driving himself in Dubai, and he was asking, man, how can we get like this in Nairobi? And the first answer that he got was, Dubai was built by very informed and educated people. Does he have those sophisticates? He doesn't. All right? So you cannot, and, 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 and I'm not saying, honestly, I want you to get me right. I am not saying Sonko is a bad man that emanates from doing ills. No. 
But does the man, did he have the capacity to run? Did he have the capacity to set up a working machinery? And if he did, why did he not allow them to... I mean, even the scissors, he'll tell you. Half of those dockets were empty. Did not have people. Did yeah. not have functions. When? You know? <laughs> okay, because for the purpose yes, of this discussion, yes, and yes. because of time, we'll have yes. to move on. You have two minutes left. What yes. I want to know is, even as the NMS uh, takes office, yes. they have 100 days to report back to yes. the president mm -hmm. um, on what they'll have done uh, in those three months. Yes. What should we be keenly looking at? What can we base our report card as far as Major, uh, Major General Badi is concerned on? You know, there, there are these things um, people have been talking about for a very long time. And I, I want to give you like a specific example. Today, especially since December, since the governor was arraigned, people have been complaining of the in increase in filth, in um, uncollected garbage. Uh, what people are not telling you is that actually there has been a problem with the National Treasury. You see, even I've just seen in the newspapers today, it is when actually MPs are okaying 316 billion shillings that is meant for county governments. Uh, we, are nine, uh, we, we are actually about eight months into the financial year, and this is when MPs are discussing now the parliament has gone to recess, I don't know for how long, so we'd, we have no idea when this will be actualized. Uh, the failure for, of remittances from the national government makes it impossible for the county government to pay contractors. In fact, most of these contractors have down their tools because they don't even have fuel to fuel their trucks. You know, they, normally, they are normally paid in arrears. Uh, you, 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 you deliver the whole month, then you are paid at the end of the month. And the county government does not have the money to be able to do that because of a challenge with the national treasury. So in the next 100 days, we want to be able to see the miracles that people can be able to address because uh, primarily we have to remove ourselves from the excitement about uh, because like what, um, what um, uh, Gabriel is pointing out here in terms of capacity and all that. Uh, the, the reality is he cannot contest these statistics that I'm presenting. You cannot dispute the fact that Nairobi had a development... No, 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 ben, 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 I want us to come back because of time yes, to watch... I want to point out things and I want to believe that important people are watching uh, to, uh, who will be involved in, the, in reporting back in these 100 right. days. And that's why I want us to and speak to that. What you yes. want to see in those three in, months? In those 100 days, uh, because people imagine that there's going to be miracles in terms of uh, <laughs> solving uh, tra 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 traffic congestion in this city. And the, the primary issues actually in Nairobi is uh, the issue of, also of water sani and, and sanitation. Mm -hmm. And w one of the key things we have to agree, the water infrastructure we have in this country was last done, I, I don't know, in the 70s. And I even the president yesterday talked about uh, the, the issue of rationing. This, and you sometimes you see it with the engineers and you get surprised that uh, th these are inevitables. So I want to imagine, or I want to see how these guys are able to fix that within the next 100 days. Right. And especially also the component of garbage collection is very easy because even the governor had already signed up the NYS uh, for purposes of a government to govern arrangement uh, and uh, traffic congestion of course there's nothing that is going to happen in the next 100 days except maybe for the trains that the president said already are, are, are supposed to be imported in the country so um, let, let, let's see how it goes for right. the next 100 okay. days. Gabriel on your, on, on, on your take what, mm. what do you want to see in 100 days what will you be keenly looking at? First of all I think normalcy must come back to uh, must come back to play and more than that I think we need a roadmap for recovery Ben has actually said something which is factual there have been uh, issues that have actually relayed this country since back in the 70s and I agree with him so we need a roadmap what will these 100 days create will we have a roadmap that we have that is functioning to say in the next probably 10 years this is how Nairobi should look like these are the economic agendas that Nairobi should be you know looking at in the next 10 years is this something that the camera put I, and I know there are so many things that can be done but in uh, after Swanko just came in you had actually the Nairobi Regeneration Committee that was actually again tasked, but it never went anywhere. Again, people have said it is the governor who did not cooperate back then. So I think this time round, things are going to be very, very different. You have a military man at the helm, and you expect an element of discipline, like I told you earlier on. So what do I expect to see? I expect, apart from the normalcy, it would be a very great idea to have a grand plan of what Nairobi should look like in the next 10 years. Okay, that's really with us, found.
as our newspaper review is concerned this morning. Uh, your views, of course, continue coming in. Uh, we'll be looking at them uh, right throughout the show at K24 TV. You can also SMS <coughs> on 2122. That's where we draw the curtains on our newspaper review. Gabriel Mutuma, thank you thank so you much for making time this morning. Ben Mula, it's all right, Sana, for making time yeah. this morning. Stay safe. Uh, Even go out there, yeah, um, remember, we, we, yes, we, please yeah. sanitize. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of it. Um, uh, keep that social distance. We take a break. We're back onto the site. We get interactive. <laughs>